Jim, I want to get you quickly on, on vaccine COVID. Uh, New York City today announcing they're going to fully reopen by July. It's 100 percent at museums and restaurants and stadiums. Uh, it's a much different picture around the world. India, of course, is a huge focus, as Mark Benioff told John Mad last night. Listen to this. Even today, we just are getting ready to fill a plane in China and send it to New Delhi with oxygen concentrators and pulse oximeters and critical items that they need right now as the pandemic surges in India. So this is not over. Jim, some of the reporting from there, uh, I mean, there are, there are cities of 17 million people where you can count the number of ICU beds on two hands. Yeah, uh, it, it's, Benioff is sending a 787 uh, packed, as he did uh, to the United States, to New York, when the pandem pandemic was raging here. Uh, there's a professor I follow, Dr. Prather. She's been instrumental in trying to get the president in our country and, and CDC to recognize that the real issue is not surface. The real issue is aerosol. And therefore, when you're in an enclosed space, uh, it's possible, like in a choir in the, in the state of Washington, that a tremendous number of people get it. They are still spending a huge amount of time cleaning surfaces in India and are not addressing a core issue, which is the aerosol buildup. And until they do, these numbers are not going to come down. I think the Atlantic calls it hygiene theater. That's basically what it is at this point, Jim, trying to it's cosmetics. It's, it's not where the data is telling us to go. No, it's not. And it's very interesting. So I asked uh, Mark Benioff is famous for keep saying, look, this is my first pandemic. He said the second pandemic you just go with the way Singapore did. Singapore put a, a cordon around this country. Everybody had to wear masks. They had strict rules and they beat it. They beat it. And there's real business being done without masks. You go to restaurants. They're where we are, but they never went through what we did. And I think that we do have a model for what happens next time. I know Mark feels there's going to be a next time. And he feels right now that we're a little better than we've been, uh, but not total. Mm -hmm. And I know that when he does these things, and it's work.com is, is Salesforce's method to be able to reopen you know, these are out of out of his pocket. I mean, he just says, listen, I need a 787 and I need PPE and I need I need it sent to India. I need it sent now. Uh, what can I say? Is that not business is the greatest force for social change? I don't know what else it could be. Yeah. The world is counting on uh, on philanthropy yeah. mm -hmm. and charity like exactly. that. Jim, it's incredible. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.